the Zebra Herd and welcome back to Kirby Star Allies. And today we're we'll continuing on with the ultimate choice. You might have seen in some of the previous episodes that I have unlocked the most difficult choice in the ultimate choice, which is the Soul Melter difficulty. Not only that, but in the previous episode we checked out the three new free DLC characters, Rick Kine and Koo, and then Marks, and then Gooey. So we're gonna try to do a I guess a best of both worlds kind of thing. I've been trying this a lot recently, the Soul Melter difficulty. I have not had an easy time with it. And I figure I'll try to make a combo that sort of works with everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and do water, which is what got me success on the second hardest difficulty. So hopefully, you know, it'll help here. And then we'll also have Rick Kind of Koo. We will have Marks, and then finally we'll have Gooey, and hopefully everything works out with this as we make our way, like I said, all the way at the Soul Melter difficulty. Because this is the only one we have yet to defeat. It is so difficult, it really is so melting. I've tried, I've gotten pretty far in the times that I've recorded it and I just sort of totally scrapped it. As you can see, we only have half health. We have more than 13 bosses, question mark? I haven't gone that far. And then lastly, we don't even have maximum tomatoes, energy drinks, or anything. We have little oranges. So, some things about this, gosh darn, I didn't actually mean to go through yet. Yeah, I wanted to combo our abilities. Uh, aren't so good, and we immediately go against Yiggy Wood. So we're gonna go ahead and, that'll probably just make water curling, but this right here should make water marks, right? Splash marks, cool. So that should be helpful. Uh, I'm gonna stay away, and hopefully these three dudes can get some good stuff going on. I'm gonna be very careful, and just try my best, and see how well they can hold up. Because usually I do this, but I do it with the, uh, three other star ally friends you can have, which is King Dedede, uh, Meta Knight and Bandana Waddle Dee, and I'll just play as water. So I'm gonna try that again here. If not, maybe I could play as one of these three DLC characters and see how that ends up working out. The thing I like about water so much is not only does it do a fair amount of damage, it has some decent range with this water bubble move, but we can also uh, do the water dash move that makes him do like a little surfing wave, and that can avoid basically all damage if I'm paying attention, and that could be really nice. And then we can do something like that. Like the little rainbow move is super helpful, but uh, come on. Getcha, gotcha. So that was pretty good, I didn't take any damage. I really can't control when the teammates do. So I've really found that the best thing you could possibly do in that situation is just let them take the damage. If they get taken out, you can always respawn them and they come back with half health. So there's really no risk of loss there. Before we continue though, is there anybody else who can do a combo? I don't think that, yeah, Gooey can't combo with anything. Uh, what will that do, is that fire? Oh, well look at that. All right, cool, so uh, let's, oh. Oh, now he's win. <laughs> okay. Well, I get to check out some new stuff. Um, there we go. Hmm. So I don't know if there's gonna be any better or worse. I really don't think it changes anything. But I am pretty used to most of these battles at this point because, like I said, I've tried this a number of times in the past. Uh, whoa, whoa. Did I did I get hit there? I did. Okay, good. That's just the most important thing. I do have to get used to the game being just crazy and ridiculous, and there's just be things being everywhere again because that's just a tough thing to get used to. But my surfing also does some damage too, which is great. I just have to be careful. Luckily, we do actually have some fire ability people here to help us out, whoa! Oh, that was on me. I didn't see him spawning in on us because there's a lot more action going on with these characters, I feel like. There's a lot more like visual effects. Um, Come on, come on. All right, we got rid of one of them there. I gotta be careful because he's gonna start throwing those ice cubes. We well, didn't lose too much health. Usually I try not to lose any health though, you know? Hmm. All right, because I try, because we, my main goal is usually to keep max health until we fight Meta Knight. The last couple of times I've tried this, that's usually what works, so this will be our warm up round. The things don't turn out perfect away, perfectly well. That's okay, that's okay, it's still the warm up, because we basically have to make our health last a really long time. This is where we can make up a lot of stuff, because there will be a point in time where King DDD will be throwing food, and since we have the water ability, we will be able to clean the dirty food. Let's go ahead and do this now. We'll be able to clean the dirty food, so that it actually, um, can be used as real food, and we can heal ourselves up, we can heal our teammates up, mostly used, of course, to heal ourselves up. That's sort of the best situation. So I have to be careful here. Oh gosh, move, move! I got hit by that very unnecessarily. I was trying to move, but it didn't really let me. But a lot of the times, you can attack these bosses during their animations, and the teammates just don't for some reason, and I really don't like that. Okay, so yeah, somebody ate the food there, which is really good. He's been throwing it that way, and as you can see, um, it actually is turning into like real food. I just need them to actually heal me now, guys, if you could, because a lot of them are taking my, uh, my snacks. Come on, if he could throw more food, that'd be great. 
I don't know if he's going to before we take him out though. Come on, throw a little bit more? No, I don't think he is, I don't think he is. Oh well. That's fine, that's fine. Maybe I could kiss some of these guys. Were any of them able to like store up a lot of health? I guess not. So they got some heals, I didn't, which is sort of a problem, because once again, uh, I can always revive them. But if I die, it's all over with the start at the beginning again, which is not fun. So I'm not gonna pick up any of these, not until we at least beat Meta Knight. That's my main focus. Hmm. Okay, so uh, we got this dude. I gotta be careful about Bugsy, because he will uh, charge, and then he'll not be done. Oh, he hit the wall, which actually I've never seen him do that before. Oh boy, he's, he's, he's gonna fly in. Be careful. <laughs> okay, we got rid of him. And then what do we got? Oh yeah, Chef Kawasaki. So he's gonna back up, and he's gonna start throwing his uh, dishware. Get out of here with your dishware. That's supposed to be eaten off of, not wasted by throwing around. Uh, oh, okay, we got him. I think I might have taken a little bit of damage here. I actually can't hurt these guys, because um, it's just water on water. I don't think I can. But these guys, these two, the uh, two Vividrias, are really tough to deal with for some reason. Like, I've tried this a couple times, and almost always, they get me something good. But I gotta get to the ones that are painting, and just go ahead and hit them with the rainbow move, over and over and over again. And then we get over here, and then, wait! Oh, I messed it up. Be careful. There we go, we got rid of her. That's better than nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the action just never, ever ends. So, unfortunately, I've taken a bit more damage than I'd prefer. These chests, I don't believe, give any food whatsoever. So we're just gonna have to do with that. I think we have enough health to deal with Meta Knight here. I think this is Meta Knight. I made it all the way to the, the Void Essence or whatever, and then I got taken out there, which stunk. I was so upset about it. I was like, okay, that's all the torture I can take for one day. Meta Knight's really tough though. This is where a lot of our teammates usually get taken out. If not worse, uh, I get taken out as well, or lose the majority of my health. Let's go ahead and damage him with that as much as I can until he disappears and splits into four. And then he just goes all over the place. So I have to be very careful, because a lot of the times, like literally all four of my teammates will get taken out, which is not good. Uh, but so far they're doing pretty good, like they're all running around doing some crazy stuff. But they also use blocking a lot. Okay, wow, that was really speedy. We did that quicker than normal at the least. See you, Meta Knight, get out of here. Man, oh man, crazy action going on. We ain't quite done. We are going against, uh, what's his face here? Goldon and Silvox, I think. I think they skip uh, Pawn and Khan and they just go to Goldon and Silvox, yep. So this shouldn't be too bad, I wouldn't think. And of course, if you guys are curious about these little DLC characters, I do of course showcase them in the previous episode. It's also very difficult to do the rainbow move on these platforms for, for some reason. It's really bizarre. Come on, while oh, they're doing the little animation. Once again, our teammates just like won't attack them when that happens, it's really weird. But they're already down to half, which is good. So I'm just gonna start throwing water whatever which way I can. But now that we're on the floor, I can do the rainbow move and do a little bit of damage. It does a lot to them, because these guys, of course, are just mid-bosses, so they don't have too much health. Let me try, wait, wait, there we go. I just have to remember that when I'm in a bad spot, I can just sprint. Come on, I know, I'm gonna revive you. It's definitely worth reviving them, opposed to letting the boss fight end, because if that happens, I believe, oh, did I take damage, Aaron? I don't even know, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm so upset. Because I really don't think there's any reason to take damage in this fight. There we go! But um, if the boss fight ends without you reviving them, they come back with, I think, just about the minimum amount of health. But if you revive them, they come back with half health. So it's obviously more advantageous just to revive them if you can risk it. Going against Krakow, I don't like going against Krakow, so we're gonna heal up now, finally. That's our first orange use. We have seven more fights though, so we could end up using a whole bunch more oranges, tangerines, whatever they might be. Tangerines are weird. They're like, I just had a tangerine yesterday. I've never really had any before. I, like, I always just thought they tasted like orange, but, but they were smaller, right? Not the case, they're like lemons and oranges combined. They're very acidic. Whoa, ow, that hit me. That was another very unnecessary damage I just took. But that's the easy part. It would be nice if we had somebody with electricity. You guys actually let me know that Krakow will do his own little, little uh, waterfall thing here. If you hit the waterfall with the electricity ability, it will actually do uh, damage to him, which is crazy cool. If I go at a right angle, I might be able to get him that way, but honestly, I've seen most success by just trying to desperately dodge during these points uh, because you do not want to get caught under the waterfall because it does damage you can't really avoid after that. But uh, now we can uh, go ahead and hit him a little bit because these guys do a ton of damage, holy cow. They work well as a unit, I'll say that much, these three. I mean, I guess it's these five, you know, if you include Kynan Ku with Mark. 
Uh, is it Mark Kainaku? Or is it, it's Rick Kainaku, there's also Marks. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, we're going against uh, Francisca here. She should be fine. She might be a little bit of a tough battle, especially since so many of our friends are low on health, but I think we'll be able to make it. All right, Francisca, you're going down as soon as I can make it happen. Oh, she going with uh, that little move to start things off. I think that fire moves are a little bit more effective against her since she's made out of ice, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, she's angry, she's upset. That's okay, it happens. She's gonna use, be using her water gun move here. You gotta be careful, because she'll actually end up moving downward as she uses this, and she can just push herself into you and do damage that way, and it stinks. Anyways, quickly, that didn't do any damage to me, which is good, but I can't hit her, because this time she's actually pushing herself up. Come on, come on, we got her though. Who got taken out? It was Marks, I'm gonna revive you real quick. Back up to half health. That was really good. Like I said, I wanted to go in prepared this time. I'm taking everything I've learned from my past failures and hopefully applying it with our new DLC friends to some great success. Okay. We ain't done just yet though. We got ourselves at Flamberge now. So I gotta be careful because she moves around like crazy wicked fast. Sometimes it can be hard to keep up with and it ends up just with taking some unnecessary damage. Looks like we've already gotten past the first phase which is really good. But I just gotta remember, one in doubt, dash away. Now this is where we can actually just take her out entirely. We can just keep attacking with the uh, rainbow move and look at how easy that was, holy cow, see it. Man, oh man, this could actually happen. I'm so excited. I mean, we I can't get too excited because you know, things can go south really quickly, especially since we're coming up with the Highness battle, and I just, I don't know if it's actually possible to avoid damage during the Highness battle. I've tried so hard. Maybe I need to change up my strategy. I always just try to fly in the center. It's when he does the uh, friendship circle move that's like tough to do anything about. Um, so we're gonna use our water move to go past you like that. But this is why I, ow, oh wait, I didn't know she was just gonna go right for me. Holy cow, lady, stop it. I didn't know she would actually do that. Uh, we gotta be careful with this, but I can hit her a couple extra times here. And then she's about to move, and we wanna move with her because she electrocutes the ground. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hit her a little bit at the least. All right, we're getting her with this, which is good. Come on, she's low. She's really low. Good job. We are at least making fantastic time. I don't know, they hit hard, our little teammates here. Okay, so I might wanna go ahead and get an orange for Highness. We have three more battles, so it's fine to really spread the wealth here, I think. I don't wanna get another one because it would be healing me past full and that'd be a little bit too much. I think this is quite difficult though, because especially since they half your health, I feel like that's the biggest difficulty thing here. But this part should be pretty easy. If we all just attack him right away, we might actually be able to just like, before he can even do too many attacks, just get rid of him. Just like that, look at that, he's just, Destroyed. This is where things get a whole lot more difficult though. When he starts doing the friendship circle, that's when I'm just like totally out of ideas on how to dodge it. But even going up to that, when he throws the sisters around, that's hard to deal with as well. Um, so I gotta be careful about that. I just threw Francisca. He's probably gonna throw another one in a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and break them up whenever I can. Whoa, hold on, hold on. So he's gonna call them over. So now's my time to throw a couple attacks at him. Oh boy, who got taken out? It was a. Uh, I don't know if I can help you right now, but I'll try. Oh, friendship circle already, holy cow. That was really quick. Uh, move it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Instead, I usually just try to float away from this. This time, I'm gonna actually try to just counteract it with the rolling. Um, that was almost a little too soon. He's gonna do that. Because he starts up and goes up to the corner. Okay, so I can't help you right now, Rick. I would love to, don't get me wrong. Whoa, look at Mark's up there. He's like, you aren't the only final boss in town right now, buddy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Here, let's go ahead and damage it as much as I can. Oh my, uh, okay, here's our chance to finish it off. Wow, we did really good here. So that's my new strategy for do dodging the uh, the friend circle. That's usually where I get the issue, is I try to float away from it, but it moves around so quick, it's hard to dodge it all the time. All right, so we're going with four oranges left here and going against Morphonite with mostly full health. Okay. I am like real nervous, but I think we can do this. Morphonite is really tough. Oh gosh, uh, come on, let's get him a little bit here. Cause he just teleports around really quickly. I didn't dodge there, I didn't dash, actually. Um, this is not good, uh, this is not a good start. Okay, phase one's done. Come on, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, he's gone. So this is where we're gonna be super careful cause he'll use his super blades that are like super duper similar to uh, Kirby's Return to the Dreamland. I just gotta keep hitting him in any way I can. Oh boy. Oh no, my friends are getting taken out. I guess they sort of overextended. 
Revive him. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta move. I gotta move, my health is the most important. And I don't mean that in like a super rude, selfish way. It's just a matter of, once again, our adventure ends if I get taken out. And let's go through these guys. Oh, he's over here now. Oh, this, th this move I don't like. It's the like sound explosion move. And when he does this, you really just wanna get away or you take a ton of unnecessary damage like our friends are. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that. I just have to try to survive long enough to revive them. I wish they could revive our friends here. Ow, that was unnecessary. I'm actually getting really low here. I need to be careful and just play safe because our friends should be able to, oh yeah, if I got caught on that, I might have gotten taken out. Oh my, don't hit our friends into our friends. What's also a problem here is that he can make it Wait, what is he doing now? I don't know. I have not seen this move before. Holy cow. Oh gosh. Come on, can we not take him out right now? Oh, got him, okay. That was really scary. I have not gone that far in his battle to see that attack before. Oh man. So that was the toughest battle so far. And he's exploding. Hey, get out of here. I don't wanna deal with you. So I don't know what happens after we face the, uh, the void monster. The dark void, void essence, all that kind of stuff, but I have to imagine something happens. I don't know if I've gotten this far. Oh, <gasps> cherry! I got a cherry! Oh, that's good! Okay, so now we just have to worry about getting one orange, right? Yeah, I have gotten this far. I don't remember the cherry, though. Maybe, maybe it did give me the cherry last time. Okay, we're near max health. Maybe I should have grabbed that extra orange, but who knows how much of a beating I'm gonna take here. I'm gonna try to do my best with this flying section. Hopefully everything will turn out fine, but man, oh man, we're making it pretty far on the first try here. And look at these three. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> They're just hanging on with me. I just, I just love how Rick is a hamster. It's just, that's cute. And real cute. Makes me want to play all those other Kirby games. Eventually, one day. Okay. So, this shouldn't be any different. It might be a little more difficult. I don't know. Oh, that would stink if it's more difficult. Void Terminal. That's his name. Okay. Let's go for him. This is, we do do this, this shooter section with all of this, so. Oh wow, whoa, whoa, this is different. Yeah, those are different. Okay, this is harder. No, wait, that's bad. That's really bad. This is actually more difficult. Because those were like moving in on me. They were definitely moving quicker there. I'm gonna try to back up. I don't know if that'll even help me. Oh gosh, I am really nervous now. Yeah, these things, like they move towards you. If I keep strafing over, it seems like I'm eventually able to dodge you, but I definitely feel like there's more of them and they move quicker. Oh no, <laughs> I really hope that isn't the case, but I'm almost positive it is. Let's go ahead and destroy you as much as I can. All right, let's jump. Whoa, there's way more of these than I'm used to. Oh gosh, be careful. Come on, I gotta not forget to shoot. I need to shoot as much as I possibly can, as often as possible. Because that way we can just get rid of them. But there's, you know, multiple phases to all of this, so let's hope we don't get taken out unnecessarily. I would really hate to die on what I consider one of the easier parts, of course, this whole shooter section, but that might be the case, we'll have to be really careful. Whoa, yeah, these things are way tougher to dodge now with the double waves coming from them, sometimes triple waves. The way they stack up is hard to maneuver on. Oh, I can hit them from here, huh. Um, there we go. Guess the homing missiles is a little bit better than I thought it would be. Thought I have to actually just go over there to them. But now I can hit them from here. Okay, cool, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Wait, wait, whoa, what happened to my double jump there? That was a little odd, just gave up. Look at these things, they are rushing over here. Come on, we almost got him finished off. And then we gotta actually focus on his back. So let's not try to get too far away from his side here. There it is, boom. So that does hit him. It actually goes like sort of right through him. I mean, now that we're on like the totally opposite side of him. Oh well, I don't think I've seen him do the ice swords before. I don't know what that'll do, so we gotta be careful. Uh, whoa, -ho -ho. oh, that was scary, it almost hit me. Come on, got him a little bit, get him a little bit more. Get him another time. Oh, he's definitely getting low. There we go, we broke it. So now we gotta focus on his forehead, right there. Oh my, whoa. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get hit by that last time. Oh gosh, whoa, whoa, move forward, move forward. Holy cow, dude, calm down. Man, he's like a master of the sword. The ice sword, it's not nice. Oh gosh, please, oh, I was trying to get under it. That was a really bad idea, I was farther than I thought I was. Oh, uh, come on. I know his head takes a lot of damage. I don't know if his head's supposed to be shaped like a heart, but it sure does sort of look like it. 
Okay, so we have to beat up his heart, then we have to go do another shooter section, and then go and beat up the Void Essence within. I don't think I got that far. I definitely didn't beat all of it, so I don't know how soon in I died, because I remember, like, I guess it doesn't restore your health going into it, which is sort of stinky, you know? Anyways, we got the Void Termina here. Can we get over there? The, I don't remember the heart being difficult. You know, the first time we did this, like when we de defeated the game, Oh my, um, I might want to be careful. Whoa, look at that, we did it already. <laughs> I was still like focusing on the incoming droplets of, I guess, juice that's in him. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we still have a good chunk of health. We've only taken one hit of damage, but that's enough for things to go awful. If I have to restart from here, I'll be so upset. So I'm really hoping that everything turns out just fine. But this part can be tough. He's about to swoop in, I do remember this, and it's all like super slow-mo. So, right there. I already got one hit on him. Boom, get another one. And then, now we're just gonna go ahead with the super fast uh, slow-mo stuff. Okay, that helped a little bit. But I think we need to get more stuff in there. Got it. Okay, we got rid of it. Not bad. So the next one should be going, I think it's the same pattern, so it should be on his shoulder. Right there. His right, our left. Okay, so oh gosh. He's doing the arrows. Are the, is this the, where the weird top-down thing comes in? No, it's not. Oh yeah, the arrows sort of cut down and go right for us. Come on, it's getting lower. Do we get the slowdown? We don't. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, we got you though. So it should be his other shoulder now. That pops up, come on, come on. Gotcha, you're going down. You are going down. Oh wait, I forgot about this. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh gosh, whoa. Well, this is more than I think was last time. This is definitely more difficult. Hold on, hold on, whoa! Okay, most of them are falling off, luckily, but this is a lot more to dodge than last time. I'll tell you that much. All right, where are you? Where's your shoulder? It's right there. Come on, get him as much as I possibly can. Oh gosh, that one missed. That stinks. Got it. Whenever I let go when the reticle's actually aimed up, I think that's when it actually hits. Come on, he's almost down. Please don't give me more of this stuff. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we got him. So now it should be on his back. This one's a little bit tough. Because I think we can only get it when he's sort of passing us by. Oh my, I remember, it's all coming back to me. Oh, no, no, <laughs> please don't. Oh gosh. Whoa, whoa, ow, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think he did, did a second like slash like that. What am I gonna do about this? Uh, well, first off, go like that and just go crazy on it. Go crazy on it. Okay. Keep going though, don't give up. It's super low. Oh, I wasn't able to do it. Here's my second chance. Uh, got it? Yeah, okay, we got rid of it. Okay, one last little section here. Just on his forehead, boom. Got it. I just gotta let go the moment it's charged. Like, that's the most productive thing I could possibly do. We have the weird crown thing from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which is interesting. This is, uh, how am I supposed to dodge this? That was really l just lucky. Uh, oh boy, come on, quickly, can we get it before he does another attack like that? Oh no, he, he's got more. Don't worry, he's got plenty left in the tank. Oh gosh. Oh, did I not get hit there, really? Awesome. <laughs> okay, keep getting him, keep getting him, keep getting him. Whoa, whoa, hold on, ow. That is so below, you can't even tell what's going on. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on, get it. He's almost down. He's almost down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What in the world is that thing? What? What? Come on, get him. Get him. Come on, he has to be low. Last hit, right? Yes! Wow, that was actually more difficult than I was expecting. What was that? It was just this giant laser. Yeah, down you go, you jerk. Oh, but now we have to deal with the void essence thing with not much health at all, if we lose, once again, we gotta start back at the very beginning. Maybe I should have taken some extra health, because we got this thing, whoa! It's a different color. Usually it's purple, right? Void soul, essence of chaos. This is different. I mean, it's the same, but it's a little different. Here, come on, guys, come on. Let's go for him. Over here, over here, just beat him up. Oh yeah, I remember this. We gotta dodge all of the little energy spears. What is hitting me? What is hitting me? Friends, friends, please, friends, please, because I cannot take damage enough. I get taken out. Once again, we start at the beginning, and I really don't want that. Why am I getting hit? What am I getting hit by? 
What am I getting hit by? What am I getting hit by? What am I getting hit by? I don't understand. My heart is broken. Why? No. That's not fair. That is like not one bit fair. What the heck? Like I don't even understand what I was getting hit by. Okay, so I'm actually recording this part of the, the episode a couple days after the previous part, everything you've seen so far, because I just simply ran out of time to play for the day, and I just couldn't do it. I kept on trying, I kept on dying. I got really far, I got to the very end multiple times, but I've read some of your guys' tips and advice since then, and the episodes that have released since I started recording that episode, mostly the previous episode, episode 10. So a lot of you suggested that I have like a full team of marks or do an ability I'm comfortable with and the rest of it be a team of marks. So that's what I'm gonna do so far is I'm gonna do water, which seems to be my best ability right now and uh, just add a bunch of marks to that and see what ends up happening. If it goes well, awesome. If not, maybe next time I'll try to play as marks. A lot of you were also telling me to hop on the marks' head if you can because there's like some cool moves you can do. I will try it if it works, great. But uh, for right now, Hopefully we can make this work. I know it's a pretty passive ability, water is. I can get pretty far without taking any damage at this point. There have been even times I've gone all the way to the Meta Knight boss without taking a single bit of damage. But yeah, apparently there's like a way to like do some kind of crazy thing that you guys have been telling me to do. I don't really know how to do it though. Uh, let's try it now. Uh, that's not it, that's for sure. Well, that's just dim dismounting. Uh, I'm not really sure. Some of you were saying that there's some kind of like cool laser you can shoot. Don't know how to do it. <laughs> Maybe we can find out as we continue on. But for now, I'm gonna dismount if I can manage, just like that. And we're just gonna go ahead and try to figure everything out ourselves. And I will be back if we make it any farther. Okay, so I have taken a tiny little bit of damage. I've tried this multiple times now. I've gotten very, very close. And I've been practicing the guard move a little bit too. Um. Hopefully I can try that out a little bit here as well, but it seems to be better than trying to, of course, dash and then use the water sport move. Of course, with the surfing move is what I mean. Uh, with that though, of course, I can, um, what's it good? I can uh, actually do some damage while I'm there, but for right now I know I can hit him a little bit like that. I can probably hit him again, and we have to stay back for this part, I think, is probably the smartest thing I could possibly do, because I can just shield. Of course, it does, this does turn my friends into enemies, which does a whole bunch of damage to me, and if the Marxes use a black heart during this part, it's gonna do a lot of damage to me, and that's sort of the big issue is that when that happens, uh, hold on, I'm trying to use the shield as much as possible, uh, because it really, really does help, because um, I definitely, because like what happens is the Marxes use black hole, and it hurts, <laughs> it really hurts. Um, so let's try to get over there really quickly, do some damage to him. Okay, so the underwater section, we've gone to this place before. Not an unfamiliar spot, but a spot nonetheless. Uh, come on, come on. So we did a good number of damage to him there. It's about to become underwater again, as far as I understand, and that electrocutes the water, so we have to be careful. Ow, how was I supposed to know he was gonna be there, by the way? <laughs> come on with that, that was total baloney. Okay, we're down to half health. This is like the millionth time I've tried this boss fight, so I'd like to be able to take him out this time. That would make me a happy, happy zebra, but we'll have to see what ends up happening. I'm gonna pull out my shield here, just because of, you know, same thing as before. So basically, I don't think you could take any damage when you're shielding. I mean, maybe I am taking damage, I don't even notice it. Oh gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. Okay, so I think he's gonna start using those unfriending shields soon. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what this is about. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten this far. Oh my. Uh, he's going back into one though. Uh, whoa, what? What? I don't know, I wasn't even pressing up there. Hold on, we're almost there, we're almost there, but I need my friends as much as possible. Revived, uh, come on everybody, come on everybody, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, come on, everybody attack, please, please attack, yes, we did it! Oh my gosh, whoa, look at all the faces he's making. Oh, you guys have no idea how many tries that took, no idea. Probably like three or four hours in total in all of my recordings. Oh my gosh. We did it and that was it. Incredible victory over 200,000 points. Wow. So Marks was definitely helpful, but knowing how to tackle that last boss is key. You need to be able to shield those little meters and then the moment you can refriend your friends and do it, don't not pay attention to that and hope that it'll sort itself out because it won't. They will attack you and do tons of damage. 
Oh, 100% clear! Congratulations, finally! That was great! Oh, I'm gonna cry! That was amazing! Oh, that was way too difficult for a Kirby game! So many times I wanted to give up, but I didn't, because I wanted to show you guys the ending. Okay, so that means we defeated every single boss, including the secret final boss and got 100% completion. I'm not quite done though. Some of you have been requesting that I do full playthroughs of guest star Starlize Go as some of the new characters, including Marks, Gooey, and so on and so forth. So I might do that in an upcoming episode. I'll do an episode of Marks all the way through, Gooey all the way through, and then Rick Kiney Koo all the way through. If that's what you guys wanna see, just let me know if you do. I plan on it currently, but if people tell me they don't wanna see it for any reason, I'll keep that in mind as well. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Kirby Star Allies. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Spicy Zebra so that you watch the end of the You're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.